What is going on, Alex Exa community? Exa Stomp here, and today, people, we are going to be going over the ADL PU uh, Speed League, um, and we're actually in the finals. Uh, so, if you guys aren't in the ADL uh, Discord, this is good because um, you guys don't know what happened. Uh, if you are in it, you already know what happened in New One and everything. So. You can skip this video if you want, but let's go over our team, shall we? So, we have Val Palpatoad here. Uh, I think the speed, the speed I think was for the Octillery, because I was like 100% sure Octillery was coming this game. Um, I knew the Tokodek was coming too, because just looking at my team, it sort of runs through my team. But um, we have, and then it was the rest in defense and HP, of course. We have Stealth Rock. Scald, Power Whip, and Protect. <coughs> the Protect was for the Octillery in case it had, um, if it was Scarf, and if it was uh, Energy Ball. I wanted to scout for that. Our next one here is going to be Mawile. The Mawile, so this this was cool. <coughs> I knew he was going to bring Sand Slash, so what I did was I... Uh, I ran enough speed. I think this was still for Octillery. May have been for Sand Slash as well. Maybe. I don't know. If it was defensive. Um, I also ran Magnet Rise. The reason was because if I Magnet Rise on a Sand Slash coming in, the Sand Slash usually can't do anything. They usually have like Knock Off and Stone Edge, which won't do anything too mobile. So then I would just be able to set up Swords Dance and maybe do something with that. Uh, yeah, so that's that set. I really like that set. Nasty Plot. Uh, for Steve, we have Nasty Plot, Electric Seed, um, Max, Special Attack, Max Speed, and then uh, Dark Pulse, Psychic, and then Baton Pass. We have Baton Pass for. Why not? It wasn't really anything else that I wanted to hit with anything else besides Psychic and Dark Pulse, so. I was like, maybe I could switch into Puku with it and uh, hit something pretty hard, but yeah. Um, quick note, I believe at Crustle at plus two still doesn't outspeed us after the Unburden boost. So that is something to note um, going into this. We also have Pink Urchin with a Life Orb and Electric Surge, Hydro Pump, Rising Voltage, Sucker Punch, and Spikes. Uh, the reason why it's like completely offensive is uh, because I wanted to try this. It's not specs because if Sand Slash comes in on my Rising Voltage, I can just Hydro Pump it and it will die. So yeah. Uh, we have Explosion, Trick Room, Poltergeist, and Shadow Sneak on Gorgeist. Um, max Defense, Max HP. We had Trick Room for the Puku, of course, and uh, Poltergeist to hit something pretty hard. Explosion in case we want to explode, and then Shadow Sneak for priority. Uh, I didn't really mention this. I really wanted to bring priority with Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak, and just because he's been sort of sweeping with one HP Crustle this whole league, so uh, I wanted to stop that. I was thinking about running Sucker on Thievil instead of Baton Pass, because it does learn it, and Quick Attack it also learns, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool, but... I went on to just pick Baton Pass. I probably should have, but eh, whatever. Uh, we also could have ran Sucker Punch on Mawile. I didn't talk about why Play Rough and Ice Punch, actually. Might as well talk about that real quick. Uh, the Ice Punch was for the Gorgeist if it was max defense. Uh, Tokadik, maybe. I, I didn't really calc too much if, the, if Play Rough did more, but still. Uh, and um, a Sand Slash. But the Play Rough was really to hit. Like everything, so yeah. Anyways, uh, going on. So Volley Psychic. Uh, of course, multi attack and Swords Dance are sort of a must. Um, there's not many good Dark types in the game, so I wasn't expecting people to be running Dark types because uh, I have one of the better ones being Thievil. So uh, yeah, we just ran multi attack, Swords Dance, Party Shot, and Defog. Just sort of a standard Savali set, but. Yeah, that out of the way, let's get on to the replays. So, um, let's see, okay. 
so let me just switch sides real quick. So, he starts off with Luxray as Oz, I started with Palpatoad. Um, I knew I could tank anything that he could do, so I just set up rocks here. Seethe Guts, uh, which is nice, so I'm just gonna protect to scout what he's gonna do again. He's just gonna Facade, which is a good play. Um, I could go in the Gore, guys. Uh, but, what did I do? Yeah, I stayed in because I was thinking he would predict that and go for a crunch on my Gorgeist. He does not. Uh, that was probably a predict, but still, good play, good play. Uh, so now I protect again, get that residual burn damage off, which is good. And, uh, here I go into Gorgeist. Really dumb, honestly, because, uh... The thing is, he could have just went for crunch and killed me anyways at that percent. So, don't know why I did that. But still, he goes for wild charge here. Not sure why. Could have went for crunch again, but I just go for trick room. And go right in the Mawile here. As he crunches again. And here he switches into Sand Slash. As I go for a play rough. Of course that does a lot, but that doesn't kill. So I go out in the Gorgeis to tank a Earthquake. As that's what happens. And, uh, we just go for Poltergeist to finish off his Sand Slash. He goes into his Gorgeist as we see Shadow Ball, which that finishes me off, so good play. Go into Mawile here, as I can tank really anything that it does. And, uh, I just Ice Punch. Switch out into Palpatode. And get hit with an Ice Beam. So there, I was like, alright, what would I do here? Uh, so... I go on the Puku because I know it could tank anything. Uh, he switched down to Luxray, I guess, just sacking it. Because Rising Voltage does kill. Uh, since he doesn't have Sandy anymore, I can just sort of spam Rising Voltage, which is nice. He does go for Shell Smasher, which was a uh, crazy play. But, of course, Rising Voltage knocks him down to 1 HP, being a 30. And I just Sucker Punch to finish him off. Crit totally mattered. Um, sorry. Then, Hydro Pump. Finishes me off. Uh, I just go into Thievil here. Because I know I could tank anything. Of course, uh, when I G-Max. Or not G-Max. Uh, Dynamax. Take out that Octillery. And now here, Togedic just stalls me out. Because it's uh, Togedic. It tanks anything that Thievil can do. Uh, which is pretty good. Pretty good wall. Uh, but I just Max Darkness to sort of weaken it here. And... Now I can Baton Pass, go right into Mawile, as Mawile is a Steel-type, so it's sort of scary to stay in. He does stay in, but Ice Punch does do more than 50, which is good. Flamethrower kills me. And here I just go into Savali, because under Psychic Terrain, Multi-Attack is going to be doing more than 120, plus Stab, plus Psychic Terrain. So yeah, this is definitely the high. <laughs> uh, Psychic Terrain is now gone, though. And I don't think Shadow Ball kills me. Uh, let's see, actually. Yeah, it doesn't kill me. So Bali is bulky, and uh, here we just win, because no Shadow Sneak. So yeah, GG's to the first game. GG's to Burger. Uh, the second game, I believe... Yeah, this is three. Three games, so of course he's going to win this one, but let's see ha what happens. Uh, yep, okay. <laughs> we both scout each other, which is pretty funny. Uh, nasty plot up, which is a little scary, but I do have Trick Room and Poltergeist, which will knock him down to 25%, which is nice. He does knock me out, but that's not too big of a deal. I just go in the Pink Kirchen here, and uh, I believe, yeah, I just go for Rising Voltage. It knocks him down so far. Jeez, Puku is, not Puku, Pink Kirchen is so scary. Uh, but yeah, Rising Voltage finishes off that Luxray as... He baits out my Rising Voltage again. Good play. I probably should have predicted that, honestly. But uh, I didn't. So, I get Earthquaked. He Swords Dances here. I just set up rocks. Uh, a little scared, because now he can knock me out. But, I can go in the Pink Kirchen. And Sucker Punch? Why'd I do that? Right, that's why. Okay. Devil comes in. And here he just wants to sack his Gorgeist. Good play. I should have maybe predicted that uh, and went for a nasty plot. I think that would have been the best play. Uh, sadly, I do not do that, though. And I just go for a Max Mindstorm. Get a crit. Didn't really matter, technically, because it just reset it off. Uh, 
And I should, yeah, I should just go for a Baton Bass here, yep, and a Savali Psychic. And, uh, yeah, I think I could just press Swords Dance on whatever he wants to do. He just Dazzling Gleams. I still have one more Psychic turning turn left, so I'm just going to press that multi-attack. Knock something out, as it's a Sand Slash, and, uh, yeah. So, Crustle comes in, I just multi-attack here. And this is the point where I realize, wait, Pink Urchin, or, yeah, Pink Urchin and Gorgeist, they're both dead. Which means I don't have any priority left. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just lose here. He did bring Flail, which is actually pretty fire. Um, knocks me out, and, uh, yeah, that's the game. Definitely some cool tech. I do like the Flail. I think that's a really unique move. Um, but let's move on. So, uh, Luxray versus Palpatode again. He switch out, switches out directly into Tokadik as I just Stealth Rocks. I go out into Mawile. As he goes out into Sand Slash, good play. Uh, he does knock me out. I thought I was faster, but I guess not. So I can just go in the Gorgreis here. Uh, threaten him out. And I can just go for Trick Room. Go right, right out into Pink Kirchen. And threaten him out with a Rising Voltage. He, as he's sacking his Luxray again. I missed Hydro Pump, which is huge. If you guys don't know, that is huge. If I just pressed Rising Voltage again, it would have been fine. I thought he was going to predict and go into Sand Slash. I shouldn't have even done that. My like, I shouldn't have done that, but I did. So anyways, it was a double down because of that. I do send out Thievil. Uh, and I'm just going to Nasty Plot on his Roost. And uh, now I'm going to Dynamax. Hit him up with a Max Mindstorm as I get up Psychic Terrain. Uh, I go for another one. And surprisingly... Okay, yeah, he goes for Roost here. Go for another one. And surprisingly, he goes for Dazzling Gleam instead of going for another Roost, which is very, very weird. Because now I can just knock him out with a normal Psychic. Um, Crustle comes in. I just Psychic again, knock him down to his 30. As he Shell Smashes. And like I said, we are going to outspeed with that Unburden Boost and knock him out with another Psychic. And uh, yeah, I think this is the game at this point. If he Roosted on my, my Psychic... Dynamax move? I think this wouldn't have happened. But, uh, yeah. Thievil just sort of swept the game at that point. So, yeah. Uh, GG's Burger. Um. Good games. Basically, the only thing is, uh, I did make stupid plays, uh, like that Hydro Pump I shouldn't have went for, probably. And, uh, although that was the safest play, in case you went for Sand Slash. Uh, that was pretty dumb of me. And then me getting rid of both my priority Pokemon in the second round. But nonetheless, uh, it was a great uh, bunch of games. And I really like what you brought. So yeah. Uh, I am going to be playing in the ADL, of course. But I won't be recording just because I would have to get every single week a different team, talk about them, then do the three different games. It's just, it's a lot of work for one league. Uh, if we go back to doing like an actual, you know, like six months or four months or however long uh, league, I wouldn't mind doing it because it's once a week, one game. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I will be playing. I just won't be recording them. Uh, I will leave the ADL discord in the description if you guys are interested in joining them uh in joining the discord because it's basically uh we do a lot of speed leagues it's very fun if you are interested of course join it and uh yeah have a good day guys peace